Welcome to Chase Talks. My name's Chase. And just now, as of recording this, we got the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker final trailer. Now, for you guys, this is going to be last evening during the football game. I'm probably uploading this tomorrow morning, which is today, for those of you watching this. But, brand new draft. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this. And I'm going to give my thoughts on the trailer as we watch it together for the f movie that will end the Skywalker saga. Let's see how it goes. I have watched through this trailer one time. Uh, before recording this, so this is gonna be my second viewing, and usually, you know, I like to view things more than once. I feel like on the second viewing, I usually have better, more coherent thoughts than the first time. All right, let's see how this turns out. Now that right there, is that flashing? I, I wonder where that forest planet is. It's got to be the same forest planet from the other trailer. Where she was talking to Leia in the woods. It's got to be the same woods, I would assume. I mean, it could be Endor, but I doubt that. And then this is probably the Death Star. Fin shot, more forest shots of her training in the forest. There's Lando in the middle. Up, oh, Rose. Ooh, is that the Tantive IV? Four? What no Kylo coming in? <laughs> Ooh, what is that? This is a big question for me. What is this? Is this a um? Is this an iceberg in the water and that's its reflection in the water? Can't really tell if it's reflecting the, um, there's Palpatine's throne. That looks amazing. But I can't really tell if in the last shot, if it was, I'm going to bag it up for a second. I can't really tell if in this shot, if this is reflecting, so this might be in space. Kind of looks like a reflection in the water. No, I guess it's not the same. So I guess this is an iceberg in space. It's an asteroid. Palpatine's throne, that looks amazing. Ooh, Star... We get a... That's an Imperial 1 Star Destroyer breaking out of the ground. In this shot, we totally see the ghost, by the way. There, right there. On the right-hand side, this guy right there. We see the ghost right there. Now, three things could be in the ghost. Either Hera Syndulla, Jason Syndulla, who's Hera and... um. Kanan's son, or Ezra and Ahsoka. Ezra, Ahsoka, all of them are in that. That's amazing. I love that the ghost is in the background there, and then, of course, we get a ton of other ships with the Millennium Falcon leading the charge, of course. Hopefully, we get a space battle in this. I really want a space battle, and we get a scene up ahead, which makes it look like it. This is... I, I don't... I mean... This reminds me a lot of those things in episode 8. I don't know why they keep adding these weird speeder things. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Confronting fear. There we go. There's a Y-Wing floating around and shooting out some of the Imperial 1 Star Destroyers. Is that a cannon on the other side of the Star Destroyer? Wait a second. Is that a cannon? What is that on the other side of that? Is that like a... Is that a super weapon on the underside of the Star Destroyers? Is that the laser that shot into the ground? Is it a shot from the Star Destroyer? What is that that the y wings shooting at? It looks like the other one has it too. That's definitely not something an Imperial One Star Destroyer should have. What is that? That looks like it looks like a cannon to me. Uh, you can see the barrel kind of extending upwards. I'm not really sure what that is, but this Star Destroyer that's further in the back that we have a better shot of definitely is the same thing going on. 
So whatever that is, it's got to be an upgrade they made. It's got to be a cannon. Uh, that's on top of the Star Destroyers. We got a weird scene of, like, boars. People riding on boars. I don't know. Y'all know who I'd like to see in that scene? I would like to see riding on the boars. I would like to see uh, Enfy's Nest. Oh, Darth Vader's helmet. Look at that. Darth Vader helmet right there. You see it. Smashing on the throne. Are they fighting in, like, Kylo's room? There you get more writing. I would love to see like an Enfys Nest cameo in that. That'd be awesome. If that's how she got reintroduced into the series. And I don't feel like that's... Oh, B-Wing! Who doesn't love seeing a B-Wing? I don't think that's out of Enfys Nest character either. There's the Emperor. If it's not the Emperor, it's somebody the Emperor is possessing. Maybe it's a clone of the Emperor. I don't know. It's somebody. That's definitely... You can see the cloak. Right there on the chair on the left hand side, 100% the Emperor. The Force will be with you. Always. There's Leia and Luke talking. Or Luke, then Leia. Then we get our credit roll. I don't know, I'm hyped. This is freaking awesome. I'm super hyped. And then there's the Emperor's laughs along with that. I am so excited. Where is it at? I think this thing right here, not the not the horses. Where's it at? This this is the most mind blowing to me. Did they put super laser cannons on all of the star destroyers? It's intense. I am so hyped for this space battle. I I've been so looking forward to a legitimate space battle. We haven't gotten a legit space battle. Yeah, in episode eight we got a space fight scene. But it wasn't a space battle. It wasn't capital ships slugging it out, fighters slugging it out through space. I mean, it was always was bombers getting shot down until one finally blows up it and then everyone leaves. Um, though Resistance did really good revisiting it. I liked Resistance's revisit in one of their more recent episodes. But man, that looks awesome. The space battle scenes, where's the other space battle scene? This one where the horses are on the Star Destroyer. Look at those turbo laser cannons going up. And X-Wing, the B-1. Where does Palpatine talk? It's with the throne. The throne looks amazing, by the way. Long have I waited. And now, you're coming together. Oh, wait, there's a resistance transport. Sorry, sorry. I was listening to, I was trying to listen to Palpatine talk, and then I saw the resistance transport. You see it in the background? It's behind the, um,. Up to the top. I think that's a resistance transport. I don't know. I saw it because um the uh oh my gosh, what's it called? Oh man, and there's the there's the other thing I'm noticing all these ships from the X-Wing. <laughs> from X-Wing that I recognize mostly from X-Wing, but there's like the smuggling ship with the red hammerhead down there. And then or not a smuggling ship, that's like a scoundrel uh ship for the X-Wing larger ships for the X-Wing huge ships, and then that looks like a resistance transport near the top, above the, like, directly above the Millennium Falcon. I know I've seen that ship before to the left, but I don't know what it is. And is that to the bottom? Is that an assault? Is that an assault frigate Mark II? That's gotta be. Look at how round it is. It's got the antennas coming up. Hold on. I'm, I'm Googling this. Assault frigate. Mark two. Where's that? Show me a good image of this thing. Bam. Is that it? Is that this thing right there near the bottom? Is that what that is below the Millennium Falcon? Did they just make the Assault Frigate Mark II cannon? I guess this doesn't have the sensor relay that it does, does it? Uh, I guess it doesn't have the highest sensor tower, but otherwise the shape looks so much like it. Doesn't it? There's an armada. I mean, that shape just looks so similar. Man, I hope that's the Assault Frigate Mark II. I don't know. I'm all over these ships. I love the space battles in the movies. I just love them. Coming together. I don't know. I'm super excited so far about this movie. I think this was a really good trailer. 
I, from what I've heard so far, I don't, I don't know if everyone agrees with me or not. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree with me. What do you think about this trailer? Are you hyped? Does this trailer make you more or less excited about seeing the rise of Skywalker? I love that line too. Coming together will be your undoing. My biggest question... My biggest question there is, is he saying that coming together is your undoing? Is he talking to like Rey and Kylo coming together will be their undoing? Like working together to defeat Palpatine? Or is he talking about the Resistance grouping up to attack his fleet? Right? Is he referring to this shot as coming together will be your undoing? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, kind of a short and sweet episode. I don't really know how good the commentary was. I was just kind of watching the video as I kind of dissect what I'm seeing and tell you guys my thoughts on what I'm thinking of the movie so far. I'm super excited to see it. I'm excited to see how it ends more than anything. And then I'll actually be able to give, like, I'll be able to do a Better Late Than Ever review and give a review on the whole trilogy as a whole because I've been waiting to give my opinion fully on the sequel trilogy until I've seen all three movies. Because you know it's a trilogy. They're meant to go together. They're not meant to stand alone. So I've been waiting till I can watch all three um, to give an opinion on what I think of the trilogy as a whole and how it stands compared to the rest of Star Wars canon. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss an episode of Chase Talks. Until next time, this is Chase. Signing off!